G'day everyone, Matt Elder of Family Bricks, and in this video we're going to talk about whether Lego branded retail stores can survive in a coronavirus world. Our local Blue Water Lego store reopened this week and I was in there today. It really wasn't the experience I was hoping for. The Lego branded stores are all about experiences in an online shopping world and this really wasn't good. For AFOLs, adult fans of Lego, generally the gateway drug is a pick-a-brick wall, affectionately known as a PAB wall. There are bins of loose Lego pieces and you can fill up a cup and get charged per cup regardless of the weight or how many pieces are in there. This usually works out to be about a third of the price of buying parts online or other sources. Naturally we get that you can't have loose pieces that every man and his dog is handling, but now it's completely gone. For similar reasons, build a minifigure and other interactive building and touchscreens are gone. In their place is just empty store space. People like to feel the Lego minifigure blind bags to guess which mystery figure is in it. Naturally this is gone too. In addition to this, they can only have 12 people in the shop at a time, so there was a queue outside. I was there on a quiet morning and had to queue. Goodness knows how they're going to cope on a Saturday or other busy time. This is really going to limit any impulse buying and kids wanting to just pop in for a quick look and then ending up walking out with a bag of goodies. I hate queues at the best of times. All staff are naturally kitted out in personal protective equipment gear, but it feels like you're going to the dentist. I totally understand they have to protect themselves and maybe not quite used to this yet when shopping. With regards to pick a brick walls, other stores around the world have been trialing staff picking quarter cups of Lego, but that isn't happening here and doesn't seem to be on the horizon anytime soon. I think this really needs to be done. Without pick a brick, for many affoles, there's really no reason to go into the store. From this flow all the other impulse purchases which won't happen or trying to hit a certain spend to get a free gift with purchase GWP. Lego is generally cheaper online from other retailers and better value when combined with other cashback schemes such as Quidco and Top Cashback. These are far more cost effective than the new VIP scheme which has introduced more friction and frustration into the transaction, with points becoming almost impossible to redeem unless you want to just surrender them back to Lego under the gambling sweepstakes nonsense. That's a rant for another time. Seems with the blind bags they have some pre-felt ones by staff, but it appears that you are limited to five at a time. I was also curious to see the new layout as Lego PR have been all about the new black boxes to appeal to adults and I thought they were meant to be in their own section. They are just dotted around the store in their usual theme categories. I walked out of the store with nothing and a sense that I didn't want to go back anytime soon. It just isn't a good shopping experience. Trying to keep the social distancing, queuing, a sense you don't even want to pick up a box to look at the back side or touch anything. You can't really have a chat with Lego staff from two meters away. It's the opposite feeling of having a pleasant experience, a good chat with knowledgeable staff, and a sense of wanting to come back sometime soon and do it all again. Speaking with other affoles, there is much the same feeling. With pick a brick as the anchor incentive to go into a store now gone, there's no real reason to go into the store. I really do hope they are able to implement some sort of pick a brick cup filling system. Something has got to be better than nothing particularly when we've gone months without being able to get new pieces from a Lego store, so there is going to be pent up demand. I feel bad for the staff, as they are good people, but with only 12 customers in a store at a time, they won't be needing many staff. Only time will tell, but would imagine turnover in the store is going to be down, as at peak times you have 4 or 5 staff working the tills in the store. Now you can't even get 3 times that many customers into the store at once. If the store isn't getting the turnover, I just can't see how they can remain open. As for Blue Water Shopping Centre itself, some of the car parks are closed, in particular the upper level near the Lego store. There is security everywhere and it feels like being in the wake of a terrorist attack with that many around. It may or may not be a matter of just adjusting to this new shopping norm. Inside there is a keep left type system with lots of staff in pink high vis vests to direct you around. There is hand sanitizer around the place. The use of lifts is discouraged in favor of escalators. Apparently Lego Blue Water has been open for the last four days despite the shopping center and Lego websites showing it as closed. We really do hope they can get some form of pick a brick wall back up again. If not you'd have to think with less new pieces entering the system that will put upward pressure on prices on the secondary markets like Bricklink as supply remains relatively the same. So what do you think? Are the lack of interactive elements of a Lego branded store deal breakers for you or aren't you really that phased? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this informative or enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up below. Doesn't take much but makes a huge difference to the channel. Here are some other videos you might enjoy watching. That's all from us here at Family Bricks. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time when we talk about all things Lego and lifestyle.